Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, has shockingly lost his title of Prince of Wales by King Charles III, sparking speculation and raising questions about the royal family's future. The title, which carries immense historical significance, has been stripped away, leaving many to wonder what led to such a dramatic decision. Could this be the start of a new chapter for the monarchy? In a move that has sent ripples across the world, King Charles III has chosen not to pass the Prince of Wales title to his son, William, after his ascension to the throne. This title, historically reserved for the male heir to the British throne, has been one of the most recognizable symbols of royal duty and legacy for centuries. For many, the decision feels unprecedented, but as more details emerge, it seems this could be part of a grander vision for the future of the monarchy. The Prince of Wales title dates back to the 13th century, carrying with it a sense of power, duty, and continuity. Many had expected the title to naturally transfer from King Charles to William, as it had done for generations of royal heirs. The crown, however, comes with immense weight and responsibility, and King Charles has always been vocal about his desire to modernize the monarchy. But why now? And why deny William, who has been prepared for this role his entire life, the chance to carry on this royal tradition? As the world watches in anticipation, many believe the decision may reflect a growing rift between tradition and the need for modernization. King Charles III is no stranger to royal duties, having held the Prince of Wales title himself for decades. His decision to change course and forego this tradition could be a signal that he wants to lead the monarchy into a new era, one that places less emphasis on titles and more on actions. After all, in an ever-changing world, even the monarchy must evolve to stay relevant. For Prince William, this change may come as both a shock and an opportunity. Being groomed for the throne from a young age, William has always faced the pressures of public life and the expectations that come with being a member of the royal family. The weight of the Prince of Wales title, with its centuries-old legacy, could have added even more pressure to William's already demanding role. While some might see the decision as a setback, others speculate that it could give William the freedom to redefine his place within the royal family, free from the heavy expectations tied to the title. Rumors have been circulating about a potential family feud behind this decision. Some sources suggest that tension has been brewing between King Charles and Prince William for years, with conflicting visions for the monarchy at the heart of the disagreement. William, known for his desire to lead a more private family life, may have clashed with his father, who has always embraced his public role as a royal. Could this be a sign that King Charles III doubts his son's readiness for such a prominent role? Or could William have welcomed the change, seeing it as a chance to focus on his passions without the added burden of tradition? The public's reaction to this royal shakeup has been mixed. While some support King Charles's decision to adapt the monarchy to modern times, others are deeply tied to the traditions that have long defined the British royal family. The Prince of Wales title, once tied to managing land and affairs in Wales, has become a symbol of the monarchy's connection to its history. But in a time when symbolism is being questioned, many wonder if it is time for the monarchy to shed its old customs and embrace a more progressive future. Despite the controversy, Prince William has remained notably silent on the matter. Sources close to the royal family suggest that William is handling the situation with grace, choosing to focus on his family and charity work rather than public outcry. His silence has left many wondering if he anticipated this decision or perhaps even welcomed it. After all, Prince William has long been known for his dedication to causes like mental health advocacy, environmental protection, and support for veterans. Without the weight of the Prince of Wales title, he may have the freedom to fully devote himself to these causes, stepping into a role that feels more authentic to him. While this decision marks a significant change in the royal family, it may also be a step toward a more relatable monarchy. King Charles III's reign has already been marked by bold moves, and this could be the first of many changes to come. 
As the royal family faces the challenges of the modern world, many wonder if this new direction could help the monarchy connect more with the public. Could a simpler, more streamlined royal family be the key to ensuring its survival in the future? The impact of this decision may reach far beyond Prince William himself. His son, Prince George, was expected to one day inherit the Prince of Wales title, continuing the family tradition. But now, with the title off the table, questions arise about what this means for George's future. Will he be allowed to grow up with fewer expectations, free from the pressures of being a royal in waiting? Or will the monarchy find new ways to prepare him for his eventual role as king? Only time will tell how this decision will shape the future of the royal family. But one thing is clear, the monarchy is evolving, and Prince William's journey is far from over. As he continues to serve the public in his own way, we may see a new kind of royal emerge, one that is less tied to tradition and more focused on making a real impact in the world. In the end, while this decision may have shocked many, it also offers an exciting opportunity for growth. Prince William, unburdened by the Prince of Wales title, could now carve out a new path, one that reflects his values and priorities. As the monarchy moves forward, this change could mark the beginning of a new era, one that balances the weight of history with the need to stay relevant in the modern world. And while the future of the monarchy remains uncertain, the world will be watching closely to see what comes next for Prince William, King Charles III, and the royal family as a whole. Could this be the moment that defines the monarchy for generations to come? Or will tradition prevail once again? One thing is for sure, the royal drama is far from over, and the next chapter is just beginning. As the royal family moves into uncharted territory, the decision to remove the Prince of Wales title from Prince William feels both monumental and symbolic. For centuries, the title has represented a direct link to the throne, a marker of future kingship, and a duty that carries the weight of history. But now, without this title, the question arises, what will William's role in the royal family look like going forward? At first glance, this change might seem like a step backward. William, who has been at the center of public life since his birth, was expected to continue his father's legacy as Prince of Wales. He has spent years preparing for the responsibilities that come with being heir to the throne. However, King Charles's surprising decision might actually free William from the constraints of tradition, allowing him to focus on a more modern, purpose-driven approach to his public duties. In today's world, where the role of royalty is constantly being re-evaluated, this might be exactly what the monarchy needs. In fact, there is growing sentiment that titles, while historically important, may no longer hold the same value they once did. King Charles III has long been an advocate for streamlining the monarchy, reducing its size, and focusing on fewer, more impactful members of the royal family. His reign has already demonstrated a desire to modernize the institution, and removing the Prince of Wales title from William could be part of this larger strategy. The message seems clear, actions and service should take precedence over titles and tradition. For William, this shift could mean a departure from the expectations that have followed him since childhood. With the world's eyes constantly on him, the pressure to live up to the Prince of Wales title might have been overwhelming. Now, without that title, William has the chance to create a new identity within the royal family. He can focus on the causes that matter most to him, like mental health, environmental protection, and veterans' support, and in doing so, potentially reshape the monarchy's relationship with the public. This change could be seen as a win for those who believe the monarchy needs to evolve. In an era where transparency, relatability, and social impact are more important than ever, William's ability to lead by example, rather than through the lens of tradition, might be exactly what the public is looking for. After all, it's no secret that the royal family has faced its share of challenges in recent years. From public scandals to questions about its relevance in the modern world, the monarchy is under constant scrutiny. By taking bold steps like this, 
King Charles may be paving the way for a monarchy that is better equipped to face these challenges. However, while some view this decision as forward-thinking, others remain deeply tied to the traditions that have long defined the British monarchy. The Prince of Wales' title, for many, is more than just a title, it's a symbol of continuity, stability, and the royal family's role in British history. There are concerns that removing this title from William could weaken the monarchy's connection to its past, and with it, the public's faith in the institution. But despite these concerns, there is a growing recognition that the world has changed, and the monarchy must change with it. The demands of modern society are vastly different from those of the past, and the role of the royal family has evolved in response. No longer is it enough for royalty to simply exist as symbols of power and tradition. Today, the public expects the royal family to be actively engaged in social issues, using their platform to drive meaningful change. This is where William's quiet strength comes into play. Over the years, he has shown a deep commitment to causes that resonate with people from all walks of life. His work on mental health, in particular, has been groundbreaking, helping to destigmatize mental health issues and encourage open conversations about well-being. His passion for environmental causes has also made headlines, especially his dedication to finding solutions to climate change. These are issues that the younger generation of royals, including William, have taken to heart, and without the added weight of the Prince of Wales title, William may now have more freedom to focus on these causes. Interestingly, the silence from William regarding this decision has been notable. Unlike in past royal controversies, where public statements and media attention have played a large role, William has chosen not to publicly address the loss of his title. Some speculate that this silence may indicate that William supports his father's vision for a modernized monarchy. Others believe that it could reflect a deeper, more personal struggle with the decision. Whatever the case may be, William's composed and focused response has only reinforced his image as a dedicated public servant. This change also raises questions about the future of Prince George, William's eldest son, and second in line to the throne. Traditionally, the Prince of Wales title would have been passed down to George when William became king. But with this title now off the table, the question remains, what role will George play in the monarchy? Will he, like his father, be allowed to grow up without the burden of expectation that comes with such a historic title? Or could the Prince of Wales title be reintroduced at a later date, when the time is right? For now, these questions remain unanswered. But one thing is certain, the royal family is entering a new era, one that will likely look very different from the monarchy of the past. As King Charles III continues to steer the monarchy in a new direction, it will be interesting to see how the public responds to these changes. Will the royal family become more relatable, more in touch with the everyday concerns of the people? Or will the loss of such an important title weaken its influence and authority? As the dust settles on this royal shakeup, many are left wondering what the future holds for Prince William and the royal family as a whole. But for now, there is a sense of cautious optimism. While the decision to remove the Prince of Wales title may have been shocking, it could also be seen as an opportunity for growth. For William, this might be the beginning of a new chapter, one where he is free to focus on the issues that matter most to him and his family. Ultimately, the future of the monarchy is in the hands of King Charles III and his vision for a modern, streamlined royal family. And while change can be difficult, it is often necessary for progress. With this bold decision, King Charles has set the stage for a new era, one that could redefine what it means to be a royal in the 21st century. For now, all eyes are on Prince William as he steps into this new phase of his royal journey, ready to make his mark on the world in his own way. As Prince William moves forward without the title of Prince of Wales, it's clear that this decision marks a significant shift in the royal family's trajectory. Many observers are beginning to recognize the potential benefits of this unexpected change. 
While the initial shock of the announcement stirred controversy, there is growing support for the idea that this move could allow William to embrace a more modern, progressive role within the monarchy. Without the formal constraints of the title, William is now in a unique position to shape his public image and work on causes that resonate with him personally. His dedication to mental health advocacy, environmental sustainability, and veteran affairs reflects his passion for creating real change. Freed from the historical expectations tied to the Prince of Wales title, he may find new and innovative ways to engage with these causes on a deeper level, potentially expanding his influence beyond the traditional boundaries of royalty. William's commitment to mental health, in particular, has been a cornerstone of his public work. He has spoken openly about the importance of breaking the stigma surrounding mental health issues and encouraging people to seek help. This focus aligns with the growing global conversation about mental well-being, making William a relatable figure to many. By continuing to champion this cause, William could further solidify his role as a compassionate and forward-thinking leader. Environmental protection is another area where William has made a significant impact. His work with the Earthshot Prize, which awards innovative solutions to environmental challenges, has garnered international attention. With the freedom to fully dedicate himself to such causes, William can continue to build on this legacy, helping to combat climate change and promote sustainability. In a world increasingly focused on environmental concerns, William's leadership in this area could prove to be a defining aspect of his royal duties in the years to come. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, also plays a pivotal role in this new chapter for the royal family. Her influence, both within the UK and internationally, cannot be overstated. Together, William and Kate have become one of the most admired royal couples, and their partnership is seen as a symbol of stability and modernity within the monarchy. Kate's support and collaboration will likely be instrumental as William navigates this period of change. Her popularity with the public, combined with her work in early childhood development and education, strengthens their shared commitment to service and makes them a powerful force for positive change. As the royal family adapts to a new era, there are those who wonder whether this modern approach will resonate with the British public. Historically, the monarchy has relied on its adherence to tradition and ceremony to maintain its relevance. The removal of the Prince of Wales title might seem like a departure from this, but it could also be viewed as a necessary evolution. In an age where the public increasingly values authenticity, openness, and social responsibility, the royal family's ability to adapt to modern expectations will be crucial to its survival. King Charles III's decision to streamline the monarchy has already sparked discussions about the future of the institution. The idea of a slimmed-down, royal family, focused on service rather than status, may be the key to maintaining the monarchy's relevance in the 21st century. By reducing the number of official titles and focusing on a smaller group of working royals, Charles may be preparing the institution for a more sustainable and practical future. This approach could appeal to a younger generation that places less importance on titles and more on action. Yet, the removal of the Prince of Wales title raises questions about the future of royal traditions. Will this move mark the beginning of a more significant overhaul of the monarchy, one that prioritizes substance over symbolism? Or will it prove to be a temporary adjustment, with the title being reinstated in the future? The potential for change is vast, and how these decisions unfold will have a lasting impact on the royal family's place in British society. As for Prince George, the eldest son of William and Kate, this decision undoubtedly affects his future as well. Traditionally, the Prince of Wales title would have eventually been passed down to George when William became king. Now, with the title removed, George's upbringing may look different from that of his predecessors. Growing up without the immediate pressure of the Prince of Wales title could allow him to experience a more normal childhood, free from the heavy expectations that often accompany royal life. 
This decision also opens the door for new possibilities in how George is prepared for his eventual role as king. Without the burden of the Prince of Wales title looming over him, George might have the opportunity to explore his own interests and passions before fully stepping into the royal spotlight. This could result in a more well-rounded and grounded future monarch, one who is better equipped to relate to the public and navigate the complexities of modern leadership. As the royal family faces these changes, the public's reaction will play a significant role in shaping the monarchy's future. While some may mourn the loss of the Prince of Wales title as a symbol of continuity, others may embrace this new approach as a sign that the monarchy is finally evolving to meet the needs of today's world. The balance between tradition and progress will be crucial, and how the royal family navigates this transition will determine its future relevance and influence. Ultimately, the removal of the Prince of Wales title from Prince William is a bold move that has the potential to reshape the monarchy for years to come. While it may seem like a loss at first, it could also be seen as a liberation, giving William the freedom to define his role on his own terms. With his deep commitment to meaningful causes, his partnership with Kate, and his ability to connect with the public, William is well positioned to lead the royal family into a new era one where service, authenticity, and purpose take precedence over tradition. Moreover, the Commonwealth, comprised of diverse nations with unique cultures and histories, represents both an opportunity and a challenge. Some member countries are contemplating severing ties with the monarchy, seeking to establish their own republics. In this context, William's leadership will be critical in reinforcing the bonds of the Commonwealth. By showcasing a commitment to collaboration and mutual respect, he can help nurture relationships that celebrate diversity while also addressing the needs and aspirations of individual nations.